Um, I'm Vicky and I'm on call firefighter at Birchwood. I'm relatively new, I've been in the service since January and I've been responding to incidents since April. I've been asked to do a few uh, vlogs about improving upper body strength. I'm going to put together a few videos just showing a, f a few simple but effective exercises that you can do at home. Oh, um, currently in the garden, it. it's nice. I've got a toddler running around. Oh. Um, you don't need any special equipment or anything like that. Um, basically, it's just things that have helped me to initially pass my practical assessment and have since helped me in, in my role in the service as well. So, um, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to start with push ups. Uh, when I first started, I basically, I could barely do them on my toes. Um, now, I pretty much do them all on my toes, and I'm, I'm gradually I'm getting stronger. Um, and nine times out of ten I've got this little one on my back as well um, so it just shows if you continue to keep doing them you will get stronger and you will notice a difference um, even if you just do one on your toes if you're used to doing them on your knees you just do one on your toes uh, and gradually build up uh, that that's going to improve your, your upper body strength um, from watching uh, like sort of trained professionals shall we say so watching other vloggers um, on social media I uh, tend to follow people like Emily Skye and Joe Wicks um, so I've sort of looked at them um, and got a routine going for myself so um, I mean you can do it however you want to do it but the way that I do it or the way that I have done it in the past as well when I first started is to do like three lots of 10 to 12 reps um, and then gradually as I've got stronger and stronger I've started to vary them so like I say adding, adding extra resistance as well and um, if you can't do them on your toes or you've never done them at all before then um, I'm just going to show you a way that you can start do you want to come and do, to do some exercises with mummy? yeah? you jump off mummy's knee? Wah! good boy right okay so the first way that you can do it, if you're not used to doing it, is on all fours and then arms wide. Can I want to go back? Not yet. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you're aiming to do 10 to 12. Uh, once you feel, if, if you feel that you can do that quite easily, uh, then the other option, careful Noah is to do it on your knees so it's just adding adding a, a little bit more and taking the hella <laughs> means you need to be a bit more stronger in which to do it so <laughs> hold on tight so that's the other option once you've once you've mastered that you can then just jump off my back sweet pea one second you can do them on an incline so the the greater the incline, the easier it is. Um, so obviously, if we look at something like this, or you keep on your toes, and you just can go down and back up, and then gradually get them lower and lower until you're on sort of something that height, and then eventually you're gonna be looking at on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not in the right bit and again you're aiming for 10 to 12 um, that's, the, that's the, the first exercise that I'm going to do you can do that anytime I do it whilst I'm cooking the tea I'm waiting for something to be done uh, just on the floor in the kitchen um, once the kids are in bed I'll do them whilst I'm watching Coronation Street or wherever it is that seems to be on. Uh, kids are playing, I'll be doing them so it's something that you can easily do. Not yet, put in. Um, if you want more, inf more information about the recruitment process or uh, about the practical assessments in particular, you can actually find that all on the Cheshire Fire website. So it'll give, it gives you the information on um, different ex uh, sorry, the, the different parts of the practical assessment that you need to be able to do it tells you the weights that you need to be able to lift and so on um, like I say I will do more videos and um, just to show the, the different parts of the practical assessment and, and how you can actually work to 
to sort of improve that before you get to that stage. Um, we are also running loads of like taster sessions as well at local at your local fire station. So again, if you have a look on the website, you'll get all that information as well. Bye.